So Josie Mats Molani, uh, we today we are talking about uh, uh, new definitions of sovereignty in the times of uh, of changes. Uh, in your perspective, or uh, what holistic approach can you give when when we hear of new definition of sovereignty uh, relating it to international uh, cooperation? Uh, well, uh, thank you. Uh, when we talk about the, the sovereignty and the new definitions of, of sovereignty, is, uh, in, in my understanding, is is nothing more than going back to the real, uh, real uh, sovereignty to look for it. Okay, because um, in, in an African perspective, uh, we have lived a long time under uh, under colonialism and um, suppression. Uh, and in the 60s, we had uh, we enjoyed the, the liberation of the continent, the independence of the continent. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it wasn't it wasn't the end of the of African suffering. As you saw, uh, we had to write write a new a new order. So that is, that, that we call a new um, a new colonialism, neo colonialism. Yeah? And Africa has been living under that for since since then. So, uh, well, according to what's I mean uh, in, in the, the, the today's panorama, uh, what's happening uh, in the world, uh, the, um, the the Russia Ukraine uh, conflict and, and so on. Uh, in my point of view, the opening an opportunity for for African countries and not only African countries though uh, in the world in generally. Uh, it's an opportunity to to gain to gain its genuine genuine uh, sovereignty to get to get rid of this neocolonialism that is imposed. Uh, it, it's working more mostly uh, and mainly because of the, I mean, the 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 current economical and uh, finance uh, finance financial system that uh, imposes lots lots of lots of, uh, uh, of um, rules, lots of. Uh, um, Demands lots, lots, lots of, of, of obligations, as I saw, for, for African and, and not only uh, uh, African countries. And nowadays, uh, because of the beginning of the, the attack, I mean, the, the Western countries have, uh, have, have uh, implemented on, on the economical and, and the financial system. Uh, we're, we're having, we're seeing now, and we have the opportunity to to get rid of the, of the neocolonialism. That's the, in, that's in this perspective. I, uh, I understand. I mean, I understand. Uh, uh, this uh, the sovereignty. Of course, there's still there, there's still an, an, uh, an other basic ba basic um, let's say call it a basic stone on definition of sovereignty that is uh, education. But uh, okay, I'll talk about that during the, during our conversation. You you underline the fact that uh, well some African countries uh, got independence uh, let's see uh, uh, sixty years ago even more than so, so but today uh, uh, there are some schools of thought who hold that of course Africa got political independence but was a mesh in uh, what we call today uh, the uh, uh, there is no economic independence and of course let's look at all the uh, the happenings in the world and see how today. They, this is uh, affecting the uh, economic sovereignty of African countries and how it is derailing the economic trajectory of uh, the African continent. Well, uh, as, I, as I started to say in uh, my last uh, intervention, in my first intervention, uh, once the, the course to stones on this, on this equation of um, sovereignty is, is education, uh, we keep on listening uh, about bringing uh, technology to Africa, about helping Africa in, uh, in the green, uh, green, green economy, green energy, blue economy, and so on and so on. But um, uh, at the same time, there is, there is some, something uh, I call uh, consented sabotage on the, on the education system in Africa. Okay, because um, uh, what we're, we're we're having in Africa in terms of education has nothing nothing to do with um, what we would expect uh, in a in a situation where uh, a continent or country um, aims uh, aims to develop to be to be in another level in the next next one or two generations. Yeah, um, what we're having now right now, I can give the example of Mozambique for example uh, right now. 
uh, well, uh, we have 12, 12 uh, grades at school, but mainly the, the first three, uh, three grades is it's what we can uh, compare, what we can call it uh, preschool. Uh, and overall, we have, we have only only nine grades. And uh, you, if you go to the subjects, it's all the same. Why? Because uh, that would gov our education system um, is is financed and controlled by the Western countries. They put the money uh, on the system. They say uh, they define and determine what uh, what kind of uh, of uh, Mozambique and what kind of skills they they, they need. It's not the country itself uh, determining it. And actually, uh, on, in the region, uh, our educational system is, is, is the worst. Of, uh, I was say, have been worsening and worsening. It, what, at some point, right after independence, it, uh, it had some, some, some quality, okay, for, according to, to the times. Right? But, but nowadays, the more, the, more, the more universities we have, the more um, the new uh, specialists, okay, education specialists we have, the, the, the worse the education system is going. So it's, that's a, it's a paradox, but that, 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 that's, uh, that's uh, uh, the, the situation. And uh, African countries should actually, first of all, take under, under its own and full control the education system. So that all these technologies that we are, we are calling, we were, the technologies we are, we, are, we are looking for and uh, we're talking about, uh, they, they, they could uh, could bring a change in, in, in a continent. Uh, otherwise, otherwise we we will perpetuate this this situation. We're always seeing um, uh, European countries, Western countries, uh, proposing uh, the agenda for, for for African development. So now we have another for, for, for example, so one one of the uh, one of the. Um, the agenda is, is uh, exactly the, uh, the 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 green economy. So Africa is shifting from fossil uh, um, uh, energy sources to to the green ones. But as we understand, uh, Africa doesn't have the the financial capacity to to migrate and uh, to, to 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 this new new agenda. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's it, that's an impo imposition. And the Western, the Western is the West is 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 banking that that that, that, that transition. I don't know until I mean uh, how effective it will it will be, but I, I believe it. I believe that if African countries don't um, don't get united right now, don't um, don't find don't see opportunities. Okay, okay in the in the the tectonic uh, change, uh, geopolitical changes and changes that that's happen are happening. Uh, we we will just lose this 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 train, yeah. Okay, we still have a chance to 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 catch the the last train of the of the, of the, the last carriage of the train. But uh, until now, but so far so far, Africa is still is still is still under uh, under the Western domination, and not not, not seeing and I mean not, not, not taking needed 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 this. Um, uh, steps to to get to, to acquire to achieve that that so 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 aimed uh, sovereignty. Yes. yes. Afrique Media. Le monde, c'est nous.